What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, Bitcoin is breaking out right now and you won't believe the next price target. The price target is all the way up here and we're going to be talking about that exactly in today's video and some potential trades for the next few days for Bitcoin. We are also going to be talking about Ethereum as well, how this exactly hit this target here of $2,000 and where the price might be going in the next few days. We're going to be taking a look at my trade over on Femex as well, which is now around 170 towards $180,000 in profit total. We're going to be taking a look at some altcoins as well and seeing some potential gems that you could potentially make a lot of money from. We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin's market cap past $1 trillion. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin's ETF and how that is going absolutely crazy. All that good stuff coming in today's video. As always, guys, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me once again. If we can hit 1,000 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely amazing. And as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a huge welcome. Second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe, and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified when I post my next videos. And as always, if you want to win a free Legend Nano S from tomorrow, just drop a comment on today's video and you'll be entered automatically into that giveaway. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the Bitcoin price and let's see exactly what is going on. Right now, Bitcoin is actually breaking out of this symmetrical triangle right here, um, which is really, really bullish. We can see here we had multiple touches on the, the up, upwards level of the triangle and also on the lower level, we had multiple touches. We did briefly go below right here and touch the 20, uh, 20 moving average on the four hour chart. However, this has previously happened before we've broken out of these patterns and we've still continued to be bullish. It's really, really interesting times for Bitcoin. And once we have broken this level right here, this trending up, upwards trending level of resistance, which we have been facing for quite a while, we have finally broken it and Bitcoin is now bullish, more bullish than ever. And we just recently saw new all time highs of around $57,800, which of course is extremely bullish. So where is the Bitcoin price going to be going in the next few days? Let's take a look. First of all, towards the upside. If we take a look at an upside target, we would take it from around about here down to around about here. We will move it to the breakout point, which is here. And we can see this gives us a, a target of around $60,500 for Bitcoin, between six, $60,500 to $61,000 for Bitcoin in the next few days. So we could potentially be seeing a Bitcoin price all the way up here in the next few days. From here, that is around about a 5.2% 5, 5 increase, which is definitely a very, very nice increase. And if we do see that over the next few days, I'm, so, I'm sure many, many people are going to be happy. However, of course, with an upside, there is always a downside. Now, of course, trend is your friend. When looking at Bitcoin and when looking at um, any coins right now, trend is your friend. Everything is pretty much in an uptrend. I will talk about the potential consequences of this later in today's video, so definitely stick around for that. However, everything is in an uptrend and we should always have a more bullish mindset than a bearish mindset. However, if we were to talk bearish, I was waiting for this triangle right here uh, before I made the video. I wanted to see if it will break or not. We did actually have this break here. Whether it will be confirmed and continued, that's one thing to keep in mind. On the four hourly chart, the volume is not looking so great. If we push over onto the one hourly chart, and we can have a look at the volume. The volume is definitely nothing too crazy right here on this break. So it is a little bit higher than before, but it's definitely nothing. Um, it's nothing to get so excited about. So this could actually be a false breakout and we could wake back down here to this support level right here. If we do that and we do come back down to this level here of about 56,300, 56,400, it could potentially be a reasonable entry for a long position. You just have to be careful, guys, because most likely there will be some form of a correction or some form of dump in the next few weeks or months. There will be some form of a 20, 30% correction, maybe pulling us all the way down below 50K. This, if we have to be realistic, most likely this will happen at some point. It may not happen now. It could, ha could happen when we get to 60K, 70K, 80K, but at some point there will be a 20, 30% correction at least. We haven't really seen any any bearish things this month. If we take a look back at the month of February from right here, the most we've seen is probably um, right here, which is around about 
a 9%, 10% dip. We've not really seen anything from the start of February, which is right here. We've not really seen any bearish signs or any bearish uh, movement. It's just all being bullish. Whereas in January, we can see right here, we did have some, uh, we had this drop right here of around 28%, 27%, which could potentially be expected in the next few weeks or months from this price level right here. 28% would bring us down to around about 41, 42,000, somewhere in that region. However, we do have a lot of support before we do get down to those levels. And honestly, I don't think we are going down to those levels in the next few weeks. I think Bitcoin is very, very bullish. Of course, it could happen, but these are some nice price targets right here. First of all, we have this price level right here, which is at around $54,000. We have this um, 20 moving average right here coinciding with it. So if we were to dump below this level right here, this blue ascending line, the next logical thing would be this $54,000 level, which is a previous level of support. We wick down to it very, very recently. And also we have the 20 daily, uh, sorry, the 20 moving average there as well, which could be a great level of support. Below that, we have this level here, 52,400. And even further below that, we have this very strong level down here at around $50,000, give or take uh, a little bit below fifty thousand dollars so that's the price targets um i do think we are going to stay bullish for bitcoin though uh, i am still bullish on bitcoin i'm sure many of you watching this are uh, leave a comment down below if you are bullish or bearish on bitcoin that would be very very interesting to see guys if you haven't already don't forget about Femex's deposit bonus giveaway. There's only two days left. Yes, two days left. Scroll down on today's video. Go ahead and make yourself an account with Femex. Meet the deposit requirements and you'll be eligible for up to a 680, 600 plus the original 80, $680 bonus, which is completely out of this world. And if you're not making the most of these free bonuses and using them, for example, on a 10 or 20x trade, you can have a free 14, 15, 16, $20,000 trade completely for free. And any profits you make from that, you can simply withdraw. Like my trade here is currently $150,000 in profit, 1,745% in profit. I've already taken around $30,000 profit. So pretty much it's a $180,000 profit trade only from 0.14 Bitcoin, which is completely crazy. So the potential to make money is there. You just have to have the right entry point. And usually breakouts are the easiest way to go ahead and trade. I've given you some options here, depending on what happens with Bitcoin, but definitely either look for the retracement to this ascending level of support here, or look for a break down here. Let's now take a look at Ethereum. But before we do, also, if you want to learn how I make these perfect trades, then go ahead over to the Bitcoin Blueprint. I have different courses over on there, depending on if you want to trade old coins, if you're a beginner, if you want to trade leverage, and you can also scroll down and see the courses and go ahead and book a free 20 minute strategy and assessment call with Ben and he can help guide you and help you achieve your goals when it comes to joining our course and when it comes to making money or earning an income or trading with cryptocurrency. You just simply click on it right here and you just simply book a time which suits you in your time zone. Very, very valuable guys and that is a free call. You can book it down below. Ethereum now, let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum reached $2,000 right here, we can see. And then at $2,000, we had a pullback of around, let's have a look at exactly how much. We went up to $2,040. We wick down to around 11%. We're currently sitting at around a 3% pullback. This is really nothing too crazy at all. And this is on the four hourly chart. We can see here, we did recently break above this 20 moving average uh, right here, the orange line. And we previously wicked down below the 50 moving average. And then we immediately wick back up above it. We can see in the past, this 50, we have wicked down below it right here, shot back up and made some considerable gains. Again, right here, we wick down below. Again, right here, multiple times. When, when we touched this, 50 moving average right here on the four hourly chart, we have seen unprecedented gains in the next few days from Ethereum. So this could potentially be a buy signal. If we do want to trade Ethereum, you could set a target for an entry signal and the new all time high up here and potentially ride it up to $23, $2,400 if we were to see those price levels and the volume that was coming in. We can see on this dip right here, the volume was actually fairly nice. So it shows that there is support for Ethereum to be at this price and there is support for the Ethereum price to push even further up. Let's now take a look at some altcoins and altcoins have been going crazy recently. I just added some more positions on different altcoins. Maybe I can tell you about you in another video. Um, if you would like to know, definitely drop a comment down below. Uh, we've got BNB sitting comfortably at $280. This is completely crazy. Cardano, 
past a dollar is now a dollar fifteen. Polkadot past forty dollars, and um, we've got Litecoin here at two twenty-five. Chainlink at thirty-five dollars. Uniswap at thirty dollars. Um, we've also got some very very interesting ones down here. Uh, for example, we've got Elrond at one hundred and forty dollars. Uh, Sushi Swap seventeen dollars. We've got Pancake Swap sixteen dollars. There's definitely a lot of advantages in the market right now. Uniswap up around thirteen percent in just twenty-four hours. And uh, let's take a look at the seven day. 212% in just seven days. I mean, we are completely in an alt market. And this is something I just want to remind you guys. Usually in a market cycle, the biggest gains come from near the end of the bull market. I mean, look at this. This is completely insane. Uh, it, it's just completely insane. Look at this. Um, it's currently sitting at 20 cent. Look at this chart right here. I'm going to pull up. If you can see right there, maybe I'll pull it onto this side and look at this chart right here. It's completely parabolic and this is completely parabolic. Usually there's a little sell off and then a little bit of complacency and disbelief and then it completely dumps. I'm not saying that this is going to happen to specifically Ravencoin or specifically in the market. However, I'm just telling you that in this euphoria stage, I'm a genius. We're all going to be rich, it says. I'll zoom in right here. Euphoria, I'm a genius. We're all going to be rich. Usually during this stage, Everyone thinks that I just throw money at this, I throw money at that, I put take a loan out to buy Bitcoin or I take a loan out to buy Cardano or something like that. Usually, that's the when you lose the most money. When you think it's the easiest to make money, that's when you lose the most money. And this is a very, very vital, vital, vital psychology um, lesson to learn. Either you learn it by yourself or you learn it from somebody else. Hopefully, you can learn it from somebody else and it's going to be a lot easier on your wallet. However, some people have to go through these mistakes by themselves to learn this information. But just keep this in mind, guys. When we are seeing these crazy gains, usually the most craziest gains are towards the end of the bull cycle. I'm not saying we're there. I'm just saying keep that in your mind in the next few weeks and months. Bitcoin secures a $1 trillion market cap for the first time ever. Yes, finally, we've seen Bitcoin spike above $1 trillion market cap, which is amazing. And this recently just happened. Great, great, great news. Let's take a look at this tweet right here. Stunning. The Canadian Bitcoin ETF, dollar sign BTCC, has already collected $421 million in assets in the first two days, crushing their estimate. Proportionally speaking, it's the equivalent of a US ETF taking $8 billion in the first two days. If we were to keep up this pace, it would be the biggest ETF in can in Canada in 20 days, in only 20 days. This is incredible, and it completely shows the demand out there on the market for Bitcoin ETFs. And surely, many, many places around the world are looking at this and thinking, yes, we definitely need it. It's going to completely explode and be very, very successful. So, of course, this is all good news as well for Bitcoin and for cryptocurrency in general. Everything is looking really, really good. It's looking very bullish if we take a look on the one hourly chart right now we can see that yes um, we are still going up in price let's take a look at this in the next few days but i do think this target here of around um sixty thousand five hundred dollars could come into effect we may not just shoot up there guys like this we may not just go like this straight there that may not happen as we see the breakout here we came up we came back down and then we came up and hit our price target so we could see something like this even come back down here and then go and hit the price target. It doesn't mean we're going to hit it immediately. It could take a few days or a week, but usually these price targets will get hit most of the time. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, don't forget to go ahead and check out the Bitcoin blueprint if you are looking to learn the key fundamentals on how you can make ridiculously profitable trades. All the information is outlined there in my three courses with hundreds of videos to you to instantly consume and go through and get that knowledge. Also, don't forget there's only two days left on Femix's huge $680 bonus. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Again, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to slap a like and I'll catch you in the next one.